So we've looked to get already at simple interest there and questions involving simple interest. And now it's time to have a look at compound interest questions, okay? Which are not more difficult, absolutely not. So do not um, confuse yourself or think that it's difficult or think that you can't do it because you can. Okay, now your book probably gives you a formula which you can apply and you just fill in, yeah, you fill in some variables and then you get the answer. Okay, now I will, I will discuss and introduce that formula later in a different video because uh, the experience is if you just apply a formula but you don't know what it does or what it means, yeah, then, you will, then you will get confused and you will make mistakes. Well, if you understand what compound interest is, there's nothing to worry about and actually you don't even need that formula. I never use it, my students hardly ever use it, um, and I'll show you why. Okay, so compound interest. I wrote down the question again, uh, because we're going to have a look at a compo uh, yeah, compound interest example question. I invest a hundred dollars, I'm going to highlight the important information straight away. So I invest a hundred dollars for two years at a rate of 10% per year compound interest. Okay, and the question is how much money will I have? Huh? So the amount of money I have in total. Okay, now to go to simple interest, what would I have done? I would have found 10% of $100, yeah, which is $10, and then I would have multiplied that by, well, two in this case. So for simple interest, I would have gotten $20 interest, yeah, and then the question is so how much money will I have? 100 plus 20, so 120. But for compound interest, it goes a little bit differently. Yeah, because what does compound mean? Yeah, what does that word mean anyway? It means that it's added yeah, on top of each other. Yeah? Compound figures, yeah? That's, it's the addition of two figures. Now what is going on? Uh, let me go back to the question here. If I have a hundred dollars, yeah, I have a hundred LE here because I'm not that rich, but I have a hundred LE, all right? And they're gonna give me 10% per year. So after one year, how much interest will they give to me? And what is 10% of 100? Yeah, what is 10% of 100? Indeed, it is 10. So after one year, they're gonna give me 10 LE or $10, and they say, there you go, thank you very much. Now, how much money is in my account now? Because I am investing it for two years, and the compound part is that they add this interest on top of my money. So now, for the second year, I don't have 100 LE in my bank account, no, I have 110 LE in my bank account. And again, I'm gonna get 10% of interest over that slightly larger amount now. Now, what is 10% of 110? Well, you can work that out, and that is 11. I'm gonna show you the calculations in a, minute, uh, in a minute. So after that second year, I'm not getting just 10 LE, I am getting 11 LE. There you go, all right? Because I now get interest over a compounded amount because I add the interest of the previous year to the money I invest. Okay, that's a lot of talking. That's a lot of talking. I'm gonna write some things down. Yeah, it's nothing to worry about. So I'm getting, or I'm giving $100 and I get 10% per year. So I find out what is 1%, I times that by 10% and of course, the answer to that is 10, yeah? So they're giving me $10 for the first year interest. Let's put a big Roman one there, because that's year one. Now year two, how much money is in my bank account? It's not 100 anymore, it is 110. So for the second year, I have $110. I'm still getting 10% over that amount, but 110 divided by 100 times 10 is 11 dollars. Yeah, so the second year, I'm getting one dollar more interest because there's more money in my bank account. And it's a compounded figure, okay? So it was for two years, so I've calculated it now for two years, and how much money will I have? Well, the beginning of year two, I had 110 dollars, yeah? but I'm getting at the end of year two, another $11 of interest. So how much money will I have in total? That is going to be $121, okay. So that will be the final answer. 
Now, if it would not be for two years, but let's say for three years that I invest my money, compound interest, then I would take for the next step, I have 110 plus 11, so 121, then I would, if, uh, I would find 10% over that amount, yeah? Because you slightly get more interest every year because the amount of money in your bank account, it grows, yeah? because you add the interest to it at the beginning of each year. All right, a lot of talking. Have a look at the next two example questions and I'm sure you'll be all right. See you there.